To improve your forehand, I want you to film yourself hitting, and I want you to look for two things in particular. Now, to help me demonstrate these two things, I've got the Top Spin Pro here. To get your own for at-home practice, just use my link. It's in the description. I'm also going to pin it in the first comment. Here are those two things. The first is when you take your racket back with a unit turn that the body turns to take the racket back, I want you to get your non-hitting hand way over and across. So if it's if you're right-handed, it's your left hand reaching way over. You can see what's going over to the right is my left hand. That coils my body, allows me to uncoil. Many recreational players, I would say more than 50% of recreational players, do not get this hand way over, which means they don't show their back to the opponent enough, which means they're not coiled, and if you're not coiled, then you cannot uncoil. So that's such an easy thing to do. If you have video footage of, on your phone right now of your forehand, look at it. See if your non-hitting hand is way over. If not, practice that to show your opponent your back. Once you're coiled, it's easier to uncoil. Now, speaking of uncoiling, the second thing I want you to practice is waving to the opponent when you strike the ball. See, many players and, and coaches, they will correctly diagnose that there isn't enough hip rotation in their own forehand or in their student's forehand, but they are blaming the wrong thing. Don't blame the hips if the hips are not rotating. It's actually unlocked by the non-hitting hand moving across. See, I watch so many players on video when they send me video footage of their forehand in order to improve, they'll do this and they look like they're hugging themselves or they're almost in a straight jacket. That's because their non-hitting hand, instead of clearing out of the way and looking like they're waving at contact, their non-hitting hand is dropping and they end up hugging. So get the non-hitting arm across, but then when you strike the ball, wave to the opponent as you contact. Now I always teach people to catch the racket as an easy way to make sure that this hand was up and waving, but if you're gonna coil, you have to make sure that you're able to uncoil. It's these two positions, non-hitting arm across and then waving to the opponent at contact before you catch that's gonna unlock your best forehand. All right, let me hit some shots here on the Top Spin Pro. Always make sure you split step when you practice on your Top Spin Pro and you'll notice these two positions, my non-hitting arm across and I'm gonna be waving to you as I contact the ball. Now, if you're looking for new people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, maybe you want to find a local league at your level, or you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court, and it's playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Super simple. Get yourself a Topspin Pro. Link is in the description and pinned in the first comment. Practice getting your non-hitting arm, whether you take the racket back with both hands and then reach over, or you let go and reach over right away, both are acceptable and you'll see the pros doing you know, one of the two on the tour. Get this non-hitting arm over. That coils the body. Now we've got to uncoil. Make sure that you are waving as you strike the ball. You add these two techniques to your forehand and there is no doubt you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.